Hey everybody, Phone Scoop here. We're taking a quick look at the Verizon Imagio made by HTC. This is one of the first Windows Mobile 6.5 devices to hit the market. Let's take the hardware for a quick spin before we take a more in-depth look at how Windows Mobile 6.5 stacks up. You can see we've got a fairly sizable monoblock display uh, phone here, large touch screen, several buttons at the bottom. You can see we have uh, five buttons. We've got a send and end key, the uh, dedicated application key here, um, the Microsoft menu here, and the back key. We've got an area here just below the screen that's used to zoom in and out. Uh, nothing along the left side of the phone at all. And on the bottom we can see there's still a stylus and we have a three and a half millimeter headset jack as well as the uh, mini USB port. On the right you can see we just have the uh, volume toggle up towards the top. Uh, the back has been slightly stylized. You see there's uh, two different types of materials here. We've got a glossy finish on this side and a soft touch on this side. Uh, of course we can see the camera, the Verizon logo, the HTC logo, and uh, one thing I'll show you here, pop this up. This is a little stand so that the uh, phone can, can rest on a level surface. and. Um, that stand, believe it or not, doubles as the antenna for the Vcast uh, video services. Definitely one of the more appealing devices I've seen from HTC in recent memory. Uh, it just looks good, feels good, and works good. So that's the hardware. One of the first things you'll notice about Windows Mobile 6.5 is when you unlock the phone, there's this slide key here. Now, if the phone had received any messages, any missed calls, any text messages or calendar notifications uh, while this uh, device was, uh, was powered off or locked, we would see uh, some of them displayed here. We slide and uh, it unlocks the phone and you can see the um, HTC made TouchFlow 3D user interface. You won't notice too many differences. In fact, we can slide along here and you'll see all the basic applications and settings as you have on other uh, TouchFlow 3D devices. So that's where you know the similarities are and users who are um, experienced with TouchFlow 3D will feel right at home uh, when they uh, when they dial in to uh, the Imagio. Here you can see the start menu has been reorganized a bit and is much bigger and much more finger friendly. We can scroll through and see all the applications that are here uh, and you can also see there's space reserved for users to add their own applications and um, most of the uh, standard stuff is in here. Uh, you can see the home screen, uh, your favorites for calling, uh, your contacts, calendar settings, uh, the phone itself, marketplace, uh, navigator for Verizon, uh, Bing search, as well as uh, music, messaging, uh, TV, and so on. Plenty of applications are, are already here. There's lots of ways to access content. You can also see the Opera browser, uh, YouTube application, and, uh, and several others. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn TouchFlow off so you can see the differences and see how uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 is supposed to look. So here's the Imagio with TouchFlow 3D removed from the Today screen and uh, you can see it uh, makes the device pretty boring. Uh, we've got pretty much nothing on the Today screen at all. Uh, if we hit the start menu, we get the same home menu. You can see it's uh, laid out in this finger-friendly style. Um, the honeycomb grid is no longer here, but we've got all the same applications, all the same stuff. Uh, plenty of uh, plenty of things going on. Perhaps the uh, most in-depth uh, menu is the, uh, the settings menu. You can see we've got um, lots of different uh, settings that we can control here. Going into the system folder, we've got a lot of control over different things that the phone is doing. And uh, you can see how easy it is to, to access a lot of these different um, systems and applications. They're just simple finger pushes away and it's uh, much more user friendly. But you know, we go back out to the main screen and hit uh, contacts and you'll see that um, you know it's not exactly as uh, as friendly as it could be a little bit easier we can uh, we can 
send a text message to global support for Verizon Wireless if we want to. And once we choose to do that, it automatically jumps into the um, text messaging application. And we can take care of all of our messaging needs from the screen. If we hit the menu button, you can see that we can uh, do lots of different things. And uh, you know, it's, it's subtle, but some of the changes you'll see here are that these, these menu items are further apart. And by placing them further apart, it makes them easier to push with your finger. So we want to insert some, uh, some text, and it looks like they don't have any text, so we're not going to insert anything. But on the whole, it's easier to, uh, to push these uh, things and, and get what you need done, rather than worrying about pushing you know, really, really tiny, tiny things on the screen. So it's subtle changes like that that, that are going to make the uh, daily use of uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 a bit better. And same goes for calendar. You know, we've got no appointments, and if we want to access the menu, you can see that these menu items are, are easier to interact with with your finger. So if we just uh, you know, go to today, you can uh, see how easy it is to push any of these buttons and, and get it to do what you want. So those are the basics. Of course, we've got uh, plenty of applications here. Um, as we mentioned, we've got the New Internet Explorer, which uh, we should definitely take a look at. New Internet Explorer has been improved. This is IE6 on Windows Mobile 6.5. And here we are in San Diego, uh, which is the EVDO capital of the world. And you can see we've got the uh, new Verizon uh, home portal loading here rather slowly. And we, again, we've got finger-friendly icons to jump to uh, different things, uh, you know, on the web and on mobile, uh, Verizon's portal. And if we want, we'll just choose uh, news, and uh, we'll watch it bring up some news. And uh, there's today's news. So we've got plenty going on, and you can see we can scan through these headlines really quickly and uh, and check things out. We've got a little mini map here on the side that shows where shows us where we are on the page you can see that sliding around as uh, as we interact with the screen so uh, other applications on here include visual voicemail um, uh, there's also opera uh, nice of them to have opera and uh, internet explorer on here uh, we've got the opera mobile we've got vcast mobile tv application here got the music application here which uh, integrates with um, you know the Windows Media Player and uh, Vcast music application so those are a little bit more robust than what we're used to seeing on Verizon's feature phones we've got an FM radio we've got mobile instant messaging and uh, and the marketplace of course so uh, let's fire up the marketplace and see what uh, see what Microsoft is offering us here and here we go here's uh, what users are going to see first when they first launch the uh, marketplace for Windows Mobile uh, so we've got a Facebook application Pac-Man uh, we've got uh, different categories and ways to search so uh, let's check out what's most popular and uh, turns out we've got some applications here we can scan through these applications see what's available, we can see pricing, we can see reviews and uh, let's look at the Facebook application it will show us a uh, description about the application uh, we can see lots of text there has some bulleted uh, highlights lists some system requirements and uh, gives us access to all the reviews and some screenshots and uh, you can see that there's a little bit of a good screenshot there it shows you how the application works and, uh, and of course we can choose to install it. So uh, we'll hit the install button and of course we have to have a Windows Live ID. So for those of you who already have Windows Live IDs, from here you just sign in and uh, if the application is free, you'll be free to download it without any problems. And if it requires a payment, uh, there are uh, steps you can take to make such payment and then download the application. So those are the biggest things that are new with Windows Mobile 6.5 and uh, they have been uh, demonstrated here on the HTC Imagio for Verizon Wireless.